Today, I'm gonna be trying to make a three course meal using nothing but chopsticks. And if that wasn't already difficult enough, I'm gonna be going into this challenge completely blind. So I sent my brother to the store earlier to grab ingredients, but I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> what the heck am I making? What did you do? All right, so first course, doing a nice hearty stew. The old classic, that's not a classic, Zupa Descana. Doesn't sound too bad, but it looks kind of daunting. Number two, we took it a little easy. Are you just using this as, as an excuse to eat steak and potatoes on my dime? No, I would have gone with like the Kobe beef. And for dessert, we're gonna make a nice little cheesecake. You do know that like, I'm not gonna be able to measure any of this stuff, right? Just do a little, just do a just little. Just a little salt bit. Please no. This is an outdated me. What year was that? To like 2017? <laughs> You're out of touch, Ian. All right, you said you wanted them thinly sliced. And I immediately <laughs> broke one of the chopsticks. Aren't you supposed to peel it first or something? A little dirt never killed anybody. It's not like it's got corona or anything. Imagine walking into your chef. He's like, "What's my? Why is my meal taking so long?" And ripping it apart with his hands like a freaking barbarian. If it's edible, I'll give you his props. I mean, it's a potato. You're gonna be able to eat it. <laughs> See, look at that. Look how thin. This is how my grandpappy taught me. Is that before or after he went see that? <laughs> you know, back in the day, back in the depression, silverware was hard to come by. People used to just uh, sort of rough it. They use whatever they could get their hands on. And it is in that spirit that I'm gonna make you a dish today. Not just a dish, a whole meal. Grandpa, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You got some pent up anger there. You? I'm angry that you haven't subscribed yet. You know how I'm like, Age of Ultron, Ultron literally just like looked at humanities like the internet for like a minute and decided to pull the plug. Do you think it's shit like this is why In what sense of the word? That is one potato. Now, time lapse doing four more. What do you think the best way to tackle this is? With a knife. You know, Matthew, soups are kind of like onions. They're layers to the flavor. I'm gonna hold here so you can reflect on that line and how bad it is. I guess uh, for better or worse. For worse. <laughs> for worse. The chopsticks are on life support. Any reasonable person waiting for a meal would have been left hours ago. You're getting free steak. I don't even want to hear it. I'm going to eat free steak at two in the morning at this rate. It might be one. Give me a little bit of credit. I think this is like a health code violation. Ow, it hurts. I'm going to be crying this entire time. Are you going to add, are you gonna add this, the sad violin music? Yes. And we're finally grilling the meat. <laughs> finally doing like the very first step of making the soup. Yum. I can't make, I can't make sausage, interesting. We could talk about how it was a big old meat stick. This is a family channel. <laughs> is it a family channel? If you want to be monetized, it is. Yeah. The direction of the channel was spiraling. Oh yeah, because this is so extreme, making freaking soup with chopsticks. So you're going to tell me that you don't know how to use chopsticks in? No, I do not. So yeah, now that I'm making a video about cooking an entire meal with chopsticks, I figure might as well try to learn. Shouldn't you pick something up with it? Well, I'm just trying to figure out how to hold it first. Tuck under thumb and hold firm. Add second chopstick. Hold it as you hold a pencil. I write like I'm a lefty, so this is how I hold my pencil. I've never seen anyone write like that. Are you sure you're not supposed to be left-handed, Ian? I might be. Actually, honestly, that's, that's pretty easy. 
How humble do you feel right now? <laughs> there we go. It's almost like it's been the way to eat food for thousands of years in certain cultures. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm just an ignorant American. <laughs> This is a very bad idea. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared for myself over here. Ow! Ow! It hit me! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wow, Ian, that actually looks kind of edible. For using nothing but chopsticks and my brute strength. Oh. Don't think it turned out too bad. Well, we haven't tasted it yet. Alright, so we can lose the cream. Mm. Doesn't look after. Mm. Let it incorporate a little bit. Goofin' shorts? Yeah, it looks like a soap. I need to go get a job at Olive Garden, I'll tell you what. There you go, there's your spoon. What kind of sick joke is this? Get soup. <laughs> Can't wait for the next two courses in, the ne in like 24 hours. <laughs> It does taste kind of off, though. So, we ran out of time recording the first night because I took four hours making a soup. So, we're on day two, but we're gonna cook some steak. Steak cam. Uh, so get that salt bay action. So, you're gonna stay out here the entire time, right? But why though? <laughs> We're making steak. Steak cam. <laughs> Is this you faking videos Ian? I'm working on the mashed potatoes. Say something witty. Something witty. I don't even know how I'm gonna show this. They're just microwaving potatoes. Ooh. <laughs> this is lazy. This is lazy. <laughs> I thought you were gonna put it in at least with the with the chopsticks. But my only working pair of chopsticks is outside the steak. If only we could see this trauma unfolding. Girl, I think you're still off. Yeah, that was definitely off. So how did you want your steak cooked again? Because it's probably gonna be a little on the rare side. I don't know. I'm just I'm just done. <laughs> All right, let's let's be done then. Let's go back inside. Why are we doing this? I'm trying to figure out my uh, target demographic right now. Yeah, for fetish. I don't think I don't think that's a good de <laughs> demographic to aim for, personally. Right, it worked for Tarantino. It can work for me. I'm not a big fan of Tarantino. Hateful Eight's a terrible movie. I hate it. <laughs> you hate it. Wow, you've been out here this whole time, huh, Ian? Yeah. Have been it's starting to get a little cold, but it is what it is. Somehow I don't believe that. You should always believe everything you see on the internet, Matthew. Did your parents teach you nothing? I have no parents. We're siblings. <laughs> you stop that. Mm. I'm telling you, let me open up my own restaurant with me cooking with chopsticks as the allure to it. I don't think they'll want to wait 10 hours for a <laughs> it's, steak. No, 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 people love an experience. Like, why do, why do you think people like Korean barbecue so much? It's an experience. They have to go and cook the food themselves. What kind of lazy restaurant do you have to cook your own food at? That's kind of random how cooked. Yeah. Like the one side of the grill looks like it wasn't even on at all. Mm. I love I love the reviews. <laughs> need more salt bay action. I do need some salt actually. It's outside. <laughs> Let's see. Really can't be that bland. <laughs> the instruction failed me. Oh, it tastes fun to me. For somebody that uh, didn't like the steak very well, you seem like you're doing a pretty good hey. job of eating it. The potatoes are the best part, though. Yeah. Hands down. <laughs> this is the dumbest bit. Moving on to the cheesecake. On what may or may not be the third day of the three-course meal. Is that good, good? 
would be good for this. Are you speaking English? Yeah, I might have just had a stroke. It's okay. You're the dumbest bits here, Ian. <laughs> Gotta relate to the audience. What kind of audience are you trying to write to? Five year olds? If it'll get me more subs, then yes. If you're five and you're watching this, go to school. <laughs> Learn about the world, <laughs> not this. I think I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. It's like brown. Do you not like the brown bowls, huh? <laughs> yes, clearly. Yeah. I have a preference for the clear white bowls. If you're five watching this, you can learn about critical race theory now. <laughs> Time to alienate half your audience, Ian. I can't, like, figure out what's... how much a cup is. Nope. Okay. At least I can still count to three eggs. We're helping these fifth graders with their math. How many dogs are there? Oh. One dog, two dogs. Dog on, I can't freaking get this open. When did you go to the gym last? <laughs> Shut up. I like how in this video so far, the audience we've been catering to is people with a foot fetish and five-year-olds. Uh, I hate myself sometimes. I got 16 followers though. I'm doing better than Jesus did. You just had crowds. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, but like, you only have like 12 followers. I hate this. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's a cop. I think you're good. All right. What's next? <laughs> I'm sure a little extra sugar in it. Okay hurt anything. I'm sure it hurts millions of Americans every year. Diabetes. Alright, call it, call it. Mm. Alright, what's next? Beat it up. Give me your lunch money! Yeah, if you're using chopsticks, you're not using chopsticks very much here. Alright, hear me out though. So, you're supposed to like, mix it, right? Yeah. Generally used with blender. I don't like this. It's like oh, there we go. Oh, is it remember safety first? Well, guess we gotta go to plan B. It's a workout. You need to start like a class. Forget Pilates. You're getting an exercise and you're learning how to cook. It's perfect. Is this learning how to cook? Yeah, we're instructing the five-year-olds how to make cheesecake. Yeah, this is this is the video they're gonna look up the cheesecake recipe. You know what? I'm gonna hashtag cheesecake in the video and then get it on trending. Whenever you search up cheesecake on Google, it's gonna be this video. You know what? I highly doubt it. I, I'm just gonna love the slow realization after you doing all of this, just how unfunny you can be sometimes. People like me. You can quote me as say. <laughs> that was the saddest line I've heard. I'm calling that good enough though. That looks whipped to me. Now we're adding some more stuff to it. Yeah, we got we got the stuff that actually matters. I would argue that the cheese in cheesecake is arguably the most important thing. No, this is the stuff where you need to be exact, Ian. <laughs> That's too much lemon. New idea, we make a lemon cheesecake. <laughs> What's the vibe, Jackie? Cheesy. Also, don't mention that I've never made a cheesecake before. Right, this is literally just like, this is just a pie. There's no, this is not a cake. <laughs> cheesecake is a pie. That's a hot take. It's, it's the that truth. That's a very hot take right there. Am I wrong? But cheese pie just doesn't really have the same. Je ne sais quoi. It's just alliteration. It's gonna be freaking tough to get all this in the pie crust. Oh yeah. Or the the cake the cake crust. I guess it doesn't even say it just says gram. Oh it says pie crust. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. What speed am I supposed to be blending this at? It's a medium. Medium, okay. Honestly, the consistency, I feel like it's decent. Ooh. That tastes exactly like yogurt. That tastes like a Noosa. A what? Noosa. Mm -hmm. It's just brand yogurt. <laughs> Are we, do we have the funds to say that out loud? <clears throat> Not a sponsor, but if you're open.
Very nice. That's what I'd say. Put it in the fridge for four hours and then we cut to tomorrow. <laughs> Day three. Day four. Is it four? Yeah. It's so dumb, but you can't use it at this point. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. Just wait. Mm, is it though? My comedic chops are not good enough for uh, this video. My comedic chopsticks are not good enough for this video. No, you don't just made bad buns. <laughs> That's good enough. What is this shit? <laughs> if we're gonna grade this, presentation has to be part of it. I see nothing wrong with presentation. Almost cheesecake. Almost cheesecake. Something, something's not right. I would not take this back to the chef if I was given it in a restaurant. Okay. I'd, be, I'd be disappointed, but I would eat it out of courtesy. I would say that's a success then. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I missed the spot.